Rufai are sending false Tinubu and Atiku over Christmas messages sent to Nigerians. As Nigerians celebrate the Yuletide across parts of the country, renowned political analyst and veteran broadcaster Rufai Oseni has come out to knock the presidential candidate of the APC and the PDP over the duo's Christmas messages. Recall that in separate videos that surfaced across social media platforms on Friday, December 24, 2022, Tinubu and Atiku wished Christians all over the country a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance, while urging Nigerians to use the message of hope and peace that the season brings in loving one another for the good of the nation. However, while speaking during a session of Arise TV's The Breakfast Show on Monday, Rufai slammed both Atiku and Tinubu for their messages, insisting that considering the spate of killings that have been taking place in the country within the past few days, coupled with the harsh economic situation, there was absolutely no reason for both candidates to wish Nigerians a Merry Christmas. He said, all of them are giving our messages or gestures. Christmas is a time for the truth because of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ symbolizes the truth. And that is why we must speak the truth of what has happened this Christmas period. It has been a terrible Christmas for a lot of people. If you are in the family of Bolani Rahim that was gone down while she was coming from a Christmas praise night, will they say it was a Merry Christmas? If you're part of the family of the 38 people that were killed in Southern Kaduna, you will not say it is a Merry Christmas. If you're part of the people that could not travel home over the fact that you could go to Lagos from Benin, a total of 13,000 Naira, and they could not see their loved ones, would you, you will not say it is a Merry Christmas. If you are part of the people that couldn't get a basic bag of rice that used to be less than 10,000 Naira some years ago, but now is over 50 to 52,000 Naira, you wouldn't say Christmas is merry. See, they can talk about all the politics they want, but except we have a Christmas where the economy works for a lot of people, then you cannot say it is merry. The reason we can't, the reason why we can't move forward as a country is that we don't talk about those who are left behind. I mean, that is definitely powerful. I mean, that last sentence is literally, I mean, he encapsulated everything that he said. Literally, the reason why we cannot move forward as a country is that we don't talk about those who are left behind. And I think it's definitely, it ties into the, you know, selfish nature of our society and the way individuals think. Um, You know, recently a newscaster or a news reporter asked Peter Obi um, if he was demarketing Nigerians when he said that, you know, if IDPs, if people are in IDPs, then you know, Nigeria is also an IDP. And, you know, if people are insecure, if they're killings in the Northeast and we have insecurity in the Northeast, it means that Nigeria, you know, is also insecure and, you know, the attacks are everywhere. And so you have, you know, the individual said that Pitabi was demarketing Nigeria. And so for someone to ask that question, it really shows where they're thinking because, if you're thinking as a collective and thinking of solving issues, you don't just separate problems from another and say, well, this is happening in this region, therefore it doesn't affect me. And so, you know, we don't worry about that. I don't think Nigerians are like that. I feel like there's certain things where, you know, I mean, I think we've been conditioned to really accept a lot of bad situations where, you know, it's like we hear these attacks and these things every single day. You get desensitized to it, which shouldn't be the case. But I think that selfish, you know, mindset, it definitely exists in a society where we are just in hyper survival mode that we literally just think of ourselves only. But I also think that there's some sense of hopelessness and helplessness because, you know, you might want the best for a situation, for example, let's say security in the north part, in the northern part of the country to be resolved. But then in your power, what can you do? You rely on the government. And what has the government proven to do? They have proven to be incompetent and do nothing. So, you know, it, it, is, it, is, it is really, really sad. But again, I think, as we said, you know, that hopelessness comes from the fact that Nigerians may not individually have the power to change things. And so you look at people like Tinubu and Atiku who are giving, you know, Christmas messages, who have been in power, and it's like you have all this money, all this wealth, what do you use it to do? When you were in power, what did you use it to do? But you can't come and then make claims of how you've developed a whole legal state. Excuse me. It doesn't make sense. And I think he's definitely right. You know, people are, when we talk about, when we don't talk about those that are left behind, it sort of just makes for that disillusion in society because then you are so, 
hyper focused on yourself and your situation that you are you literally lack the skill to think outside the box and think as a collective which is a problem um you might not intentionally do it but the system makes you think in that way again more than anything is what the mindset and the system um that is that it's more the mindset that the system has promoted and you know bread that really affects nigerians individually and of course the impact is there as a society but yeah i think rufaya sen is definitely right i mean we cannot move forward as a country if we do not talk about the people that are left behind and unfortunately we have left so many people behind it seems cumbersome to even start the conversation of you know catching up because the disparities i mean if we're really going to polarize how things are in the country with the rich and the poor and the healthy and the sick and the employed and the unemployed, I mean, the gap is just getting wider. And you're just like, wait, what? How do we even, how do we even start to catch up? Because really, when the gap is wider, disparity is huge. Of course, you are, you are leaving people behind. You have people at the top who are going you know, higher and you have people who are left behind who are going lower. As they say, the rich are getting richer and the poor um, is getting poorer. And I think, you know, it, it's just a... A very intelligent way to put it um but yeah so um an individual um by the name of lyro hakin on says but you send but send your own to nigerians if their own is faulty mr no all if that's how you people will rule will only rule to your family okay i don't i don't know what it means um, Peter B spent his time at the IDP camp. What a symbol of true feeling. Hmm. It's a lie you people hate someone that's telling the truth. Rufai is always telling the truth. So sad. Nigeria is in a total um is in a total catastrophe under the watch of the APC government that couldn't fulfill their promises. Attacking Tinubu based on what? As president or as minister or what you will soon be irrelevant. Excuse me, the audacity. And I think this is an individual that you know what we can't. We you just pray for individuals like this. I mean, this is sort of an, an a comment that is on the other side of the fence. Um, you know, in defense of Tinubu because it's like, listen, he has a right to give his opinion and he's a political analyst. But even if he wasn't, I mean, people talk left and as some people say, you know, some people can yarn dust. The young dust online, but no one comes and tells them, oh, you know, who are you to say this? Why? I mean, you're an individual in your country. You have a right to have your comments and opinions about things that are going on. And, of course, that is his job to do that as a political analyst. So, yes, I mean, how do you... I, I, don't, I don't get it. Someone says so much and gives so much comparisons. I mean, he literally talks about those that are unable to travel because of, you know, the economic state and having, you know, not having enough money. And talk about, you know, insecurity and people that are not even able to um, finish their Christmas. They started it, but then they, <laughs> their lives ended on the day. How is it merry? And also talk about, um, you know, food as well. So it's like security, um, food, shelter, and life expectancy. You talked about all these things that have just decayed and are decaying even at our present time during this Christmas period. And he's, you're expecting everyone to be merry. Of course, it does not work like that. Um, another comment here says, um, I think this man is becoming boring and should shut up. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Rufai is now sounding like APC in 2015. There is something obviously wrong with Rufai upstairs. Wow, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely shocking because I feel like Nothing can really overrule common sense, but you know, if you don't agree with what Rufai Shani is saying, then you know, you've, you've got checks. But it is what it is. Who I think about it in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.